Hey, Marcus here, Sword and Sci-Fi Guy. I finally saw the new Dune and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I read the book in middle school and the massive scale of everything and the oppressive music and sounds really were pretty much exactly as I imagined them as a kid. However, even though the fights were cool, I do have some issues with the energy shield. And I don't mean like, oh, they wouldn't work in real life, because, I mean, you're aware of what real life has. I don't need to tell you that. However, I think that even Frank Herbert didn't have it exactly correct of how they would be used, because according to the Holtzman effect, the shields block things that are going two to three inches per second, which is, you know, really slow. And these blades are moving faster than two to three inches per second. You could come up with that they're just set to different speeds or whatever, but according to the actual book, this won't really work. And I'm sure that you could come up with some sort of fighting style where you could move a blade two to three inches per second and still hit an opponent. However, something that I haven't seen anybody at all mention is, you know how when you were in driver's ed and you learned that if you're going 20 miles per hour in a car and somebody's coming head on at 20 miles per hour as well, then when you collide, it's essentially like you're going 40 miles per hour? Similar concepts would apply with the energy shield. It doesn't really matter if you're moving the knife at textbook two to three inches per second. If the person you're fighting moves at all in space, then to the shield, it's going a different speed. So it would be really difficult to fight any opponents that can actually, you know, move their bodies. So according to the books, you know, we've ruled out guns, we've ruled out lasers because they explode when they hit the shields, and now we're ruling out blades. But I think that you could still design a combat system for fighting people with energy shields, mainly because of these scenes. You can still manipulate somebody's body in space against their will while they've got the energy shield on. And what's a martial art that's really good at manipulating somebody's body against their will? Grappling. For one-on-one -on -one fights, you know, like all the nobles do, I can see grappling being massive. It doesn't matter if you can't touch somebody's skin. If you can manipulate their arm and put them in an arm bar or whatever, you can dislocate their shoulder. So given that, I can see Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu dojos popping up all over the place in the Dune universe, and then putting almost everything they can into advancing those sorts of martial arts. However, since you've got to have things being lethal and grappling isn't really the best at that, you could definitely grapple somebody and then draw a blade and use that in the two to three inches per second. And I'm sure some people would do that. However, I can think of something even better. When you're grappling somebody, it's good to have your hands free, and if you're reaching for a knife, then that's not a hand that can be holding your opponent down. So what's a weapon that can keep your hands free and still work as a knife? The Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade. Now, we'd need to work out some kinks with it, however, I think that the Dune universe could probably handle that. They could even set it so that way it's spring-loaded to come out at the perfect two to three inches per second, so that way when you're grappling somebody you can just make it come out and then deal damage. Now that wouldn't necessarily be immediately lethal, depending on where you hit them, but you could make that sort of a hypodermic needle and just pump poison into the person as soon as you break the skin. So I think that's how one-on-one -on -one combat in the Dune universe would work. However, grappling is really bad in pitched battle situations. Say you're Duncan Idaho and you come up against any of those Sudakar, whatever, the Harkonnen super soldiers. You start grappling with one of them and then 10 of their buddies are just going to use their blades to knife you. That's not going to be good. However, being able to get manipulated in physical space while you're completely protected reminds me of something else where people still get injured while they're fully protected. Football. I'm no medical doctor, but when they've got those helmets on and they collide, the head suddenly stops, but the brain's still moving, that causes concussions and traumatic brain injuries, which are, you know, really bad. And even if you had an energy shield on, if you've got something coming right at your head, like a mace or a club, then that's going to hurt. For the same reasons. So instead of swords, I can see maces, clubs, 
quarter staffs and long pole arms that deal more bludgeoning damage being a lot bigger than swords in the Dune universe. Although you could still use swords like big two-handed ones. I can see people using those. And the goal would pretty much be to cause as much brain damage to somebody as possible that you're fighting on the battlefield. Ideally killing them outright, but at least knocking them out and having somebody in the back lines kind of just finish them off with their blade. And if you hit somebody hard enough on any of the joints, like the knees, then those are going to get damaged as well. They still have to move in space due to the force. And given all this, I don't think that regular projectile guns would really be out of the question, because if you have something that's shooting a really heavy projectile really quickly, and that hits you in the head, even though you're fully protected, you can still get injured. Because, you know, traumatic brain injury, concussion, all that sort of thing. I can see firearms changing from essentially trying to shoot somebody from the furthest distance away possible to trying to throw the largest, heaviest slug possible as quickly as you can. And if one of those hits your knees front on, then that would also hurt. It would drastically change combat in the Dune universe, however, I think that it would still make sense as a sci-fi technology. Still protected from lasers, you're still really protected from blades and firearms. And in modern times, we fire at the center of mass because it's the largest target. If you've got to aim at a small target like the head or the joints, then people are going to miss a lot. So Dune energy shields would still drastically up the survivability of most soldiers. But combat would change a lot more than just this.